So here we're out in part of a field. It's kind of on the bottom of a slope, uh, kind of a wet area. So it looks like a good place for grazing, but it's actually filled with plants that thrive in a wet environment and the animals aren't going to want to eat a whole bunch of. Uh, so I'll just show you a couple of those just so you know what to look out for when deciding on a pasture to graze and where is appropriate. So the first thing to look for is nut sedge. That's a really common one in wet areas around here in Vermont. Um, this is the seed head. When it gets to that mature point, you can look for this. It's a pretty distinctive seed head. Uh, so that's an easy tell. But if it's not at that point, I'll show you what the leaves look like so, so that you know. Um, let's see. So let's dig in here, pull one out. All right, so here's a thick midrib. It's really, you know, kind of rigid and rugged. Um, so you'll kind of be able to tell that animals aren't going to want to eat it once you feel it. But then it also has a triangular stem. So if you roll it in your fingers, it'll actually kind of, you know, you can feel the corners of the stem. It's not a round stem like a lot of the good grasses that we want to see. Um, so nut sedge is something to look out for when deciding on a pasture and if it's wet or not. And then the other really common species that's in wet spots that, you know, people see in a lot of their pastures, even if it's a great pasture, but it's a tell that it's a little wet there sometimes, is reed canary grass. So I'll just show that to you real quick. Um, you know, animals will eat it when it's really little. Uh, it's a bit more palatable, but once it's this tall, they're not going to want to eat it. I mean, this stem is really stiff and fibrous and kind of yucky. And then the leaves are really thick like this, triangles, and it grows in patches, as you can maybe see behind me. Um, so those are two really common plants to look out for in wet spots when picking out a pasture.